All right, we're gonna talk about the water system. So the access point for your water system, you have 21 gallons on board. Uh, it's actually mounted underneath to the frame of the trailer, uh, but your input and your output is here integrated into the fender. Uh, and then you have a switch that accesses or turns on the water pump. So what we include with every trailer are these brass quick connects to make it really, really easy to get on. Uh, one thing we like to tell our customers is uh, it's easy to remember this by saying, come right on in, don't be left out. So right is your input and left is your output. So if we wanna fill it um, right on in, so we just use this quick connect, put that on, connect this to this end to a house water source. Uh, and if you don't have a quick connect at home, you can just take this off uh, and screw that into what you have at your facility. Uh, and then just turn it on. You just need to make, the, make sure that the, the ball valve underneath that opens up that PEX tube uh, is in the open position. So right here, if it's perpendicular, that means it's closed. You just open that up uh, and then you push the water into the system. There is an overflow valve under here. It's this clear tube underneath the fender. Uh, and as soon as you hear that start to gurgle, that's showing you that the tank is nearly full. As soon as it starts to spit, you can just shut off that valve and you're done and you have 21 gallons to use. When you're ready to use it, you just do the opposite. You hook it up to the left side. Um, you can either just put directly onto it the spray nozzle, open up the valve, turn on the pump, and then you're ready to go. Uh, if you do want to use the water heater, that's something separate. I'll show you that next. 